Christina at Homeschool and Grace, and today I wanted to share with you another big book haul. Yay! Happy! <laughs> Anyways, um, before we get started, to, so that you know I'm not a crazy book hoarder, um, I'm gonna insert a picture now. Okay, <laughs> that is a picture of the books that I gave away. Um, the other day when I went to my last uh, book sale that we have here locally. So I'm not just bringing books in I'm as we read them or if I notice that we're not looking at certain books or just not interested in them, in, in them anymore, I get rid of them. So, um, so there's they, we, all these new books will fit on our bookshelf. So today's books are from a local book sale that we have once a month here in town. And then also from a local food co-op that has um, like things donated there that my sister was able to get us some um, books for our collection. And then at my parents' house, they still have some kids' books from us growing up, and I was able to look through some of those and take some home. So they're actually all mixed up, so we're just going to get started and start going through them, and then I'll show you the big stack at the end. Okay, so let's get started. This first one was from my parents' house. This is Lewis and Clark, the journals of Lewis and Clark. I'm excited about this one because my dad underlined in it and left his own notes. And so that'll be a fun treasure to have. Um, just a keepsake, so, in later years. Okay, this one, it's a Valentine's Day. My sister found us this one at the food co-op um, by Jack Prelusky. She said we read this as a kid. I don't actually remember it, but it looks really cute. And I have helpers today. So if you hear little voices. <laughs> okay, this is How a Spider Saved Valentine's Day. I like these little spider books. This is by Robert Krauss. Um, we have several of his books. And I read them as a kid. I just think they're cute. Okay. The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. Here, why don't you give me all of these? So then, Apple Dapple's Nursery Rhymes and The Story of Miss Moppet. So these are all the cute little um, Beatrix Potter's books that are just fun to read and carry around. Okay, so this one is Brian Wildsmith's ABCs. I think I have this book, but it's a newer version because this one, it's now um, Brian Wildsmith's Wild Animals. So these are cool pictures, kind of retro, uh, for each letter. Okay, this um, is an Explorers, it reminds me of like those Brain Quest games, but of Explorers. So I'm pretty excited about this, especially next year when we go more into um, Rome for um, my kids' schooling, but, um, and then we'll circle back around to the United States, but, you know, there's Christopher Columbus, Marco Polo, Magellan, um, DeSoto, uh, Lewis and Clark, so anyway, those will be fun. I can't put it back together. Okay, whoop, I got a couple books coming at me. Okay, this one, Wait and See. This is by Robert Munt. Um, I found this at our local book sale. And I'll say the book sale, um, every kid's book is only a quarter. So um, it gets really exciting because you can find some good finds. He, he is a really funny writer. If your kids are into just really goofy, funny stories, um, I definitely recommend him. So this one is about a little girl who... Uh, wishes for stuff for her birthday and they come true. So it's, it's a fun one. A Sweetheart for Valentine by Lorna Valiant. The pictures look neat in this. Um, you see that? So I haven't heard of this author, so I'm excited to for us to read this that one. Molly, Molly's Pilgrim. This is also at the um, book sale. This was, um, I saw this recommended in Honey for a Child's Heart, so I was excited when I found this. This one looks like in perfect condition. Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay, 
Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing by Sally Lloyd-Jones and Jago. <clears throat> Anyways, I was excited to find this. We have um, the Storybook Bible, I think is what she wrote. So this is fun poems to go with it. And it's like in perfect condition, it looks like this. Okay, Yonder by Tony Johnson. The pictures were really pretty in this one. This one, Franklin's Halloween. I like Franklin books. And this is by Paulette Bourgeois. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This one, okay. My first mother goose. I'm trying to build up our collection of Tommy DePaulo books and I saw this was his. This will be a good board book. Um, and they're nice short little nursery rhymes and I always like his art. It's always fun. My sister found us this one, a baby sister for Francis, but she's not my baby sister. <laughs> Anywho, um, this is by Russell Hoban. Uh oh, I'm getting more help. Um, my sister, you know, since we have five girls, she's like, you have a baby, you have lots of baby sisters. So this one will be a good one for our family. This is him. <clears throat> Um, this may be one we just look at and then we might give it to the book sale the next time we go. It's, they're really pretty, but I don't think we'll necessarily go through this one. Okay, okay Spot Goes to the Farm by Eric Hill. These are always fun ones. Cats Know Best by Colin Eisler. This one I'm really excited to cat. Excited about. This is The Fat Cat by uh, Jack Kent. It's a Danish folktale. Um, this is a really cute book. I'm excited to read this one. Okay, so this one, I, I've never heard of this one, The Read Aloud Handbook by Jim Trelease. Um, so it's all about, you know, the importance of reading aloud to children. And then there's a book list. And I've already started highlighting. I don't know if you can see this. But, I pulled out my handy dandy highlighter of what we own already and books I need to uh, look into, check in on, see what kind they are. Uh, my, my Little Pony, Big Balloon Room, it's an exciting one. <laughs> okay, this one, Rat-a-tat, rat tat Pitter-Patter. This is just like sounds of things like drizzle and sizzle, but I know that this, there's a specific name for these in like Part, is it like a part of speech or language arts? And so I thought this would be good for when we get to that in our lessons. Too Much Noise by Anne McGovern. What's funny is um, when I was in preschool, we did a play of this book. Um, and so we, my sister and I found this at my parents' house while we were looking through stuff. And it's a really funny book. Um, if you can find it anywhere, it's, it's, a, it's a fun one. Okay. Charlie Needs a Cloak, again by Tommy DePaulo. I have never even heard of this one, but it's a pretty short one. And it's all about, you know, lambs and collecting the wool and knitting. And um, I, I knit when, when I have free time, which isn't very often right now. Okay, so these two are junior classics, Legends of Long Ago and In Your Own Backyard. So um, we have another one of these which is, I think, Once Upon a Time. But anyways, there's stories from different countries. Um, and these ones, um, it's really nice because there's, like in this one, it's got epic and hero tales, which we'll be using for um, my daughter's learning about Greece later on this year. And also for next year, uh, because it has stories from, well, not this one. This one has stories from the medieval times, like 100 Dresses is in here, so I was excited to find that, and then there's a bunch of other stories in both of these. Okay, another Tommy DePaulo, Big Anthony. This is the story like leading up to when he goes and sees Streganona, which I have not found Streganona yet. <laughs> I'm hoping to find it soon, because I remember really liking it as a little girl. Um, so it's a fun one. Uh, this is for my first grader who's learning phonics, so EEP, 
to sleep count sheep. So when we get to the double E's, that'll be good. Uh, the Boxcar Children's Surprise Island. This is book number two. Dinosaurs Halloween. We have a lot of books. <laughs> okay. The April Rabbits. This is by David Cleveland. So this will be fun once we get to spring to read. Need a book. Just give me a book. Okay, this is actually a new book that my mother-in-law got for the girls. Sweet Pea and Friends, The Sheep Over. So this will be a fun one. I've never... By John and Jennifer Churchman. And it looks like they took the photos maybe from their own sheep. I'm not sure. I haven't read all about it. Our next book, The 39 Clues. We found this is book one. Um, the Medusa Plot. So we thought that might be fun learning about mythology this year. This is the way we go to school. So we actually had this book, but it was, um, we got it used and it was missing a few pages. We didn't realize until after we started reading it. So we found a complete book. So we were excited about that. Um, Snowball by Lois Ellert. This will be a fun one this winter. Okay, a picture book of Frederick Douglass by David Adler. Molly's Craft Book. My oldest picked this out. Goldie Blocks and the Parade Float. The pictures look fun in this one. By Debbie Sterling. And it looks like it's a science project at the end or something or an uh, engineering project. <clears throat> okay. I witness whenever I can find these ones for a quarter, I get them because they're nice for science as references. So I witness weather. Ooh, my pile's getting big. How it works, the human body. I'm excited I found this one because it's got really good visuals. And um, I'm going to be soon doing a video about my oldest daughter, or not my oldest, my third daughter's eyesight. She was born with a congenital cataract and this has a good Mama, I have a <laughs> um, This has a good picture of the eyeball. The Christmas whale. So I found this in my parents' house. And what was exciting is that this was my dad's grip, my dad's mom's book. And she had put in, she had put in, she had uh, glued in an article from the newspaper from 2005 and she put the date and stuff. So that'll be fun, and the pictures will be fun for at Christmas time. And it's an old book. I'm not sure how old this is, but it's, it's pretty beat up. Oh, we're getting to the end here. Okay, so she wanted to show her favorite book she got yesterday. So it's this book, which at Barnes and Nobles, it's $20. And when you get these books for a quarter, it's good. Um, so it's about monsterology, so like, um... It has like this stuff, so like a cyclops, a adult person, and then like a horse. And I think it's gonna be fun for the new Disney or Pixar movie coming out called Onward, because these animals are in it. Cool, thanks for sharing. Okay, and lastly, my sister gave us a big dictionary, which we needed a good school dictionary. We just had some little scholastic ones, which work, but this is a nice big Webster one. There was a lot of books to get through. My goodness. Let's see if I can hold this pile up. <laughs> so I had lots of helpers today, so it was uh, a fun video to get through. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Let us know what books you've gotten recently and what books you're reading. Um, we love to see what, it, you know, other people are reading it, reading aloud at their home. So stay tuned. Subscribe, watch more, and comment. We love reading them as a fine family. Bye!